Before we begin this video, I just want to let you guys know about my second channel, which is called Robles Collects. And on that channel, I do a lot of Funko Pop unboxings. And I'm going to start doing Ben Presto action figures. I'm going to start opening uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon booster packs, booster boxes, and just unbox and review a lot of awesome collectibles that I love collecting. So I would greatly appreciate it if you guys go check it out and let me know what you think. So let's move on. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching. And in this one, I'll be showing you how to install a very cool application that allows you to organize all of your games in your game folder. And so as you're installing emulators and games, it just gets very uh, unorganized, very confusing. And sometimes you don't know if you had the game installed or not, or you just want to find it the quickest way or whatever. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of different games, a lot of emulators, and different homebrew games. And this application is basically just going to help you organize and move stuff around so it's more consistent and just helps you track your games down a lot faster. It's just a little cool application to just stay organized and consistent. So, uh, this will work for the PSP 1000, 2000, and 3000, also the PSP Go, as long as you install it in the correct folder which I'll get into in a minute here so uh, the application is called homebrew sorter very easy to install very simple it works great I just tested it it's amazing and so you must be running custom firmware on your system in order for this to work and just a disclaimer that I am not responsible for anything that happens to your PSP make sure you follow all the the steps if you guys have any questions or you're hesitant about something make sure to comment or seek some help out online there's hundreds of people doing this so you know just talk to your fellow PSP hackers PSP modders and they'll help you out in any way possible and I'll try to answer all your questions as fast as possible too all right so I'll show you my system firmware here real quick our system software I'm sorry 6.60 Pro C works great now let's download the application we're gonna go to our desktop here and the first link in the description below will take you to brewology.com and this is the homebrew sorter GUI beta 4 and this was posted back in 2010 so uh, the download link will be on the bottom here just download file shouldn't take too long it should be a uh, dot rar file there we go let's show in folder there it is I just want to refresh that there we go and you want to right click and 7 zip or extract that with uh, any extracting program that you have but I rec highly recommend 7 zip it's just very easy and simple to use uh, right click go to extract file I like to do the desktop just because I can see it right there perfect we can close that out and we can open up our sorter and this folder is what we're gonna need so just double click make sure that eboot.pvp file is in there because that's what's gonna run the, the whole application so let's go back and now we can uh, get our PSP plugged in via USB cable. Make sure you have a full charged battery and also you have a very good working uh, computer and USB cable. So that's very important guys because you may break your system if you don't do this correctly. Most of the time it doesn't but you just want to you know, be cautious. So, uh, here is my PSP 2000. This is not a PSP 2000. I'm actually installing it on a PSP 1000. Uh, the memory card is called 2000. So, what we're going to do is go into our PSP folder. And then we're going to go into game. And then we're going to copy this folder, the HB sorter, in here. Make sure you don't copy it in any of these other file or any of these other folders. Uh, let's replace those 53 items. 
there it is make sure it's in the game folder and not in other in any other uh, folder here so now you're good to go let's go back to our PSP screen uh, just give me a second here to reset my system so we can enable the uh, remote joy light there we go so it's a very useful application I like to stay organized and I've been looking for the best one out there there's some organizers that are very confusing and it takes too much time to install like you have to do all this like typing into the BSH uh, text document and crap like that so go ahead and find the application I already know mine is gonna be at the bottom it's probably gonna be the same with yours here we go it kind of looks funny there's like nothing really going on as long as it says homebrew sorter you're good just start the application and should be all set there's the remote joy light going back and forth there all right so here it is homebrew sorter by Sakya, thank you so much for creating this. Credit to that person, that creator, that developer. And it's very easy to use. Uh, you basically have three different uh, keys, actually five in total, six if you're counting the home. But the X, you can just select. Uh, so I'm gonna select the uh, DSP, right? This is the Defense Station Portable and that's the first one that's showing up. So. Whatever you're seeing here is how it's displayed on your uh, memory card. As if you were going to start an application. So here's DSP. I'm going to select that by pressing X. And as you can see, it's moving with me as I'm moving down. You can see that it's getting under all these different games. And I just want to test this out with you and show you that it actually works. So now it's going to be under Thrillville, a PSP game. And now we can release it by pressing X again. And now we can select another application or game that we want to move. So uh, in order to save it, you have to press start and that will save the list. And then you'll see uh, the LED light running on, from your memory card here, the orange little light to your left. And once it's done, like going crazy you should be all good to go now you want to hit home quit game yes and it works great I was testing it for like the last 10 minutes I didn't see any crashes or anything like that so it worked great let's go back to our remote joy light go into our game folder or game drive or game memory card and let's scroll all the way down. That should be defense. And there it is, defense station portable. Let's try another one. It's great. Now you can like move stuff around the way you want it. Cause the PSP system doesn't really automatically organize alphabetically or anything like that. So this is the best way. And it's a very nice clean application that looks great, looks beautiful. I love how it works very simple very easy to install and it's not like you know it's not a crazy homebrew application that you have to go through so many hoops to install um, let's get the crash games together right let's get crash team racing we're gonna select by pressing X again and I'm gonna put it right under crash bandicoot 3 and now I want to move all my emulators and actually I want to move the homebrew the homebrew sorter to the top I think that should be number one in my opinion um, that way you don't have to scroll all the way down to get at it so and then on the bottom I do have some uh, updates it's just part of the the hack that I have on here um, really don't need it but it's there if I want to like you know hack a friend's PSP or whatever um, it's just nice to have it on on deck uh, UMD dumper very great application I'll have to do a video on that too to show you how that works it basically just copies any UMD 
uh, game on t directly to your PSP and that's how I got Thrillville on here so I just have to find the right application because there's so many of them out there that kind of buggy this one was the best one so Pico Drive this is uh, one of the emulators I wish I could change the name on some of this stuff I'm gonna have to look into that and see what's the best one now if you click on or press on L and R it's just gonna give you a different view uh, you see categories and then you see uh, homebrew it's it's weird um, I guess it does recognize what's homebrew and what's not so that's a plus but yeah very easy very simple application I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions as always you can always comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really love this content, please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.